This program is brought to you by Stanford University. Please visit us at stanford.edu. We're standing in the main bay. Uh, this is building 04250, uh, Hansen Experimental Physics Laboratory. In the old days, it was called the High Energy Physics Laboratory. It's, it's somewhat sad to see 60 years of research just be demolished. I think normally over the years we had nine or ten uh, PhDs, uh, lots of them. I couldn't even begin to, to give you a number. Was the control room for the free electron laser. And while it was working, up until a couple of months ago, this was all console television cameras that were uh, 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 wired up to TV cameras downstairs that monitored the beam. Oh, they just love dark, quiet spaces. Physicists. Yeah, yeah, and anyone associated with it. They, they drool. If you talk to Bob Byer, his eyes just dance and twinkle. I spent eight years of my life in that tunnel. <laughs> we built, actually what we did, what was really important, is we built a laser-driven accelerator in this lab. And we did it intentionally because I wanted the continuity of having the first laser-driven accelerator in the HEPA lab where the first linear accelerator was built in 1947. Project in, in uh, 1997, and we actually completed and successfully demonstrated the acceleration of electrons with visible light in November 2004. Clean room doesn't look clean anymore. He was the mainstay on this whole operation in here. All Stay the cryogenic... Test. Payload integration and test in, in, in this. What that means is, if you go back to your old footage, <laughs> is that means is that we put the probe in the door, the cryogenic integration, which was. That's the picture I have. Well, yeah, it, 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 yeah, we had it was a, quite a critical step, and when you actually explain that to a physicist, explain what this guy did, they end up astounded. Some of the more interesting times were when um, Professor Robert Hofstadter won the Nobel Prize. When the thing was about halfway done, that was enough energy. That was still less than half of what the accelerator was ultimately planned for, but uh, that's where um, um, Hofstadter did the experiments that a few years later got him the Nobel Prize. Also a time when the building was very much built for a particular application, right? not for architectural niceness. It was basically very much a research entity. Which... This lab in, indeed step by step evolved and did what was at frontier of science every step of the way. A lot of history, a lot of history through this building. The preceding program is copyrighted by Stanford University. Please visit us at stanford.edu.